All right, so continuing our video tutorial on the CT method for question three on the trig star test. Uh, just quick recap here. On this quadrilateral, we took the angle that they gave us, angle A, typed that into the calculator, um, broke it up into two parts. Top part we called X, the bottom part was A minus X. That's the whole angle minus the top part. The diagonal that they have in common, we say is Y. Now we use sine to set up, the sine ratio to set up ourselves a system of equations type that into the calculator, find the point of intersection on the graph, and then it gives me the angle measurement as x and y as the hypotenuse, the shear diagonal. And the only one I really need there is that shear diagonal, making sure that I round it off to the nearest hundredth place. So let's go through the process ourselves, uh, start to finish. Okay, so let's pull up the calculator here. Um, first thing I want to do is type in my angle measurement. My angle measurement is 83 plus 20 divided by 60 plus 6 divided by 3600. And I need to store that as A. Okay. Now I could have gone up into the angle menu, second angle and use the degrees after the 83, the minutes symbol after the 20, and then after the six, you have to hit alpha plus sign for the seconds. But I found that it's faster to actually just type it in by hand like that, because you don't have to go back and forth through menus. And then let's make sure this mode is set to degrees, and it is, okay. So I need to type in my two equations, y equals, the first one is the top, which is 504.27 divided by the sine of x. Okay, for the second one, it's the right-hand side, 265.56 divided by the sine of a minus x. Don't hit graph, instead go to the window, and let's set the window like this. So I'm going to set the y min from 0 max up to 90 because that angle is not going to be bigger than 90 degrees. And my scale I just take that and divide it by 10. For my y minimum which is the length of that hypotenuse 0 up to 700. 700 because it has to be bigger than both of those numbers and I just set the scale at dividing that 700 by 10. Now I can hit graph and graph them. This will probably take, this bit will take the longest for this whole problem. Waiting for your graph, graphing calculator to graph it for you. Now, in order to get that point intersection, instead of eyeballing it, go to second trace, which is the calculate menu. Choose number five and go through these little questions. First curve, enter. Second curve, enter. Guess, mm, enter. And it stores these two numbers in for X and Y. X is the angle measurement. Y is the first number that we need. It's the diagonal A. C. So it's write down 600.63 when we round it. So AC equals 600.63. Now we're going to use that in the Pythagorean theorem in order to find AB. So my calculator just quit out of this and go alpha y, square it, minus the top part is 504.27. I'm going to square that and then take the square root. I found it's faster just to hit the caret and then 0.5. And then round this thing off to 326.29. 326.29. And then finally do the same thing for the right hand side for or for the bottom, AD. So alpha y squared minus 265.56 squared and raise that to the half power and we got 538.73 538.73 and there you have it in just a few minutes get yourself all of question number three answered correctly.